The views expressed on the following program do not necessarily represent those of this station or its management. It's time now for Where You Live with Gene Sullivan, the show that deals with the news and events that affect you the most. Whether you rent or own, live in an HOA, single-family home, or an apartment building, Gene will tackle the issues right where you live. So, from the True North Painting Studios, here is the original man of steel, Resolve himself, who stands for truth, justice, and the association way. Here's Gene Sullivan. Good morning. Welcome to Where You Live. I'm Gene Sullivan, and I'm broadcasting from the True North Painting Studios. When you're looking for the right painting contractor, what do you look for? Isn't it someone who will respect you, your time, your property, and your budget? That's what you can expect from True North Painting. Find out more about this exceptional company by giving them uh, a call at 952-831-1433 or by going online at truenorthpainting.com. That's trunorthpainting.com. I'm also brought to you by the great folks at Extreme Exteriors and American Family Insurance, the Kim Bennett Agency. I want to also uh, give uh, a shout-out and a hello to Chris Wyatter Puberty. How are you doing, Chris? Good, Gene. How about yourself? I'm doing doing great. Excellent. I'm doing great. And uh, let me ask you... uh, uh, a question. Do you think the ends uh, ever justifies the means? Uh, I think it can, but it um, depends on how many people get stepped on on the way to the ends. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me. Can you give me an example of something where you think the end justifies the means? I'm having a hard. I'm having. I, I'm having a hard time coming up with. Uh, with uh, one that would. The only thing that I'm thinking of is the only time that I think that the end justifies the means is when someone wants that particular end. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I worked a lot of overtime in college to make sure I didn't have as much debt. Yes. It paid off. It was kind of rough in the process, but okay. I'm glad it happened. All right. But uh, the uh, this is a topic we're going to be uh, talking about uh, today with uh, one of our uh, stories. We've got a lot to cover today, so why don't we begin by uh, going forward with property management in the news. Property management in the news is brought to you by Home Furniture and Abbey Floor Covering. Their showrooms are staffed with professionals who will help you choose what you need to fit both your lifestyle and budget. Whatever you need, chances are they'll have what you're looking for. If you wish to avail yourself of special pricing you won't find anywhere else, all Where You Live listeners can call Customer Service Coordinator Lori Matson at 952-224-2663. Our uh, first uh, story is uh, coming uh, out of uh, the great state of Arizona, and this was uh, from the Arizona Central News uh, from the end of September. And uh, apparently there are some uh, people in Arizona who are quite upset about recent changes in the law as it pertains to homeowner associations. But there are others that are even more upset, not with the changes that took place, but with how these changes actually became the law. And that's why I began with uh, the question that I did with uh, with Chris here uh, right at the beginning, and I'd like to ask you, uh, our listeners here too, do you think the end justifies the means? There, there's some people that are going to say, why, of course it does. Um, government, a lot of times uh, people know to be a huge bureaucracy. Uh, there's a lot of red tape, unnecessary process and protocol at times. And, I mean, how many times has uh, someone found out that uh, – what the the request that they were asking for was all negated because they forgot to fill in uh, line uh, 3A on form 1098, and now they've got to start all over again. And so, yes, I can see and understand why people would be uh, upset with this and say, you know, there's got to be times. There, there's just got to be times when it seems that 
you ought to be able to kind of work around and the end justifies the means. But there are others that say no. And uh, I think I probably find myself more in this camp uh, more than the other. And here's the reason why. When it pertains to government, we're talking about uh, people who have been given and been elected and given the authority to have to make decisions uh, for all of us, uh, and for our, our country nationally, uh, on the state level, on the city level. If you're in a homeowners association, uh, you elect a board of directors, you're electing people who will have authority over a budget of hundreds of thousands of dollars that affects your home specifically. And when that takes place, and when you're talking about politics and you're talking about people having the ability to make a life-changing event to you, it seems to me that it is imperative for government to always be more deliberate. And that's one of the reasons why policy and protocol is in place. And sometimes that does get to be uh, very frustrating. Now, for it to be uh, in place uh, just for the sake of itself, no. But our founding fathers thought that there was a certain amount of redundancy. There's a certain amount of uh, effort that needed to be uh, given before just being able to pass a bill, pass something into law, because the purpose of government is to be deliberate, not necessarily efficient. Because you're talking again about the real impact on the lives of millions of folks. So what was it that took place here in the state of Arizona that got people all up in arms? Well, here's what uh, took place. Uh, earlier this year, a uh, state representative by the name of Michelle Ugenti uh, first brought forth uh, a number of homeowner association-related issues and bills. Uh, there was like three or four of them uh, that she brought to the omnibus bill earlier in the session. Now, for those of you that may not know what an omnibus bill is, um, Omnibus is just a Latin word, uh, and omnibus, uh, omni just means uh, all. It means everything, all-encompassing. Um, bus just means just what it is, a, a bus, a vehicle, a wagon, something to carry and transport something. So when you have an omnibus bill from the legislature, what they're saying is we are putting together one huge vehicle, and we're going to, in one vote, pass up and down all of these laws in so many unrelated areas. Because up till this point, the state legislature has had uh, various committee hearings and has notified uh, people. People have had a chance to speak. The laws are put together, and now uh, you uh, vote on this one omnibus bill, up or down, because that is a little bit more of an efficient way, because if you had to, at the state legislature or at the United States Congress, if you had to vote on every single bill, every single idea on its own merits, by itself, with nothing else uh, attached, you could see that things would be backlogged and things probably would never get done. I mean, people complain about that enough already with, with government. Isn't that uh, uh, the case? So uh, it you can see that the, an omnibus bill is needed. Well, uh, State Representative Ugenti put together uh, items that had passed uh, committee and, um, or actually uh, didn't pass the committee, uh, so uh, she wasn't able to get it into the omnibus bill. So what did she do? Well, last minute, uh, right before the day before the recess, she took those uh, those bills, those ideas, and it says that the, the day before the state lawmakers went to recess, Ugenti added an amendment with similar language to all of those uh, to all of those HOA related bills and laws, and stuck them in a section under elections for the state. 
which legislators approved without debate. So now all of a sudden you had a situation where you had something that hadn't passed committee. Uh, so it shouldn't have been moved forward to go into the omnibus bill. But last minute, the person ended up putting the the uh, the uh, words in uh, another unrelated bill and it passed. And now we have new laws for HOAs. Well, there was a gentleman who was really upset uh his name is uh, George Staropoli, and um, you may remember a couple years ago on the show, we actually had Mr. Staropoli uh, on uh, the show with us. And I can tell you that as far as uh, being in agreement on a number of things w- with our uh, values, Mr. Staropoli and I are probably uh, opposed on quite a bit of things in life. But one of the things that we both agreed upon was the fact that this bill and how it went through was not done properly. And I'll tell you why, but we need to take a break right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Don't go away. A lot more with Where You Live after these messages. 